everybody. Today we're going to give you a walkthrough of the Rexel Customer Care Portal. When you've logged in, you'll be directed to the home screen. From there, you have the option to move over to Invoices. Within the Invoices tab, you'll see the accounts and companies associated with your account. If you need to add any additional companies, speak to your Rexel credit representative. As we move across, we'll see a summary of our account, including our current, overdue, non-disputed, and disputed invoices, and your representative at Rexel for assistance. As we move further down the page, we'll have the option to configure any columns we'd like to. If you have any columns you don't need or don't use in your view, you can disable them there or add additional columns. Moving across, we have filters and we can filter all of our invoices by number, reference, due dates, and we can apply the filter. We can also export all of our invoices on our account, either selected invoices moving down the side, export as Excel, or export all as Excel. We can also search our open or our closed invoices by reference number, PO number, invoice number. As we move into our actual invoices here, we'll see the invoice number. We can get a web view of that invoice. As we move across, we can see the invoice amounts, paid amounts on the invoices, promised amounts on the invoices, as well as due dates, PO numbers, reference numbers, and codes. If you'd like to create a dispute on an invoice, simply click the Create a Dispute button. This will open up a new Create a Dispute window. From there, you can select a byline on your invoice or by an amount on your invoice. Dispute the amount select a reason why you're disputing the invoice, create a note to attach to the dispute, or any additional documentation that needs to be added, and click Save. Beside Dispute Resolute, beside Create a Dispute, beside Create a Dispute, we have a promise to pay. Simply click that and select a date for your promise to pay. If you'd like to print a copy of your invoice, move over to the print icon, click it, and you'll see the original invoice that was sent to you. From there, you can print it or download a PDF. And finally, if you move over to the last column, you can select certain invoices to add to your cart, and you'll see them added to your cart at the top of the screen. Click on the payment cart, and you'll see the invoices that have been added to your cart, and you can select credit card payment. If you'd like to select more invoices to add them to your invoice, to your, if you'd like to select more invoices, to add to your cart, simply click Select More Invoices. If you'd like to make an on-account payment, simply move up to the top of the screen and click Make an on-account payment. This will give you the option to select a mount and a payment note. As we move across the top of the screen from Invoices to Disputes, we'll see any open disputes currently listed on our account with the invoice number, the disputed amount, the status, reason code, and reasoning for the dispute. Also on the top of the screen, we can see payment logs, which will keep list of all the transactions associated with our account. If you're a customer of Nedco, Westburn, and Rexel Atlantic, this portal can help you manage your account. How do I get it? 
contact your local credit representative and ask them to send you an invitation to the portal. You'll receive a link in your inbox. Simply click the link and it will bring you directly to the customer portal registration. You'll fill out the usual information, company name, telephone number, email address, first name, last name. Anything with a red asterisk is a mandatory field. Click Submit and it will be sent to your credit representative for review. Once your account has been reviewed and activated, you'll receive another link in your inbox. This will be the Customer Account Activation. The User ID field is the email address in which you received the activation link. Set your new password and confirm your new password and submit. You've now saved your password to your account. Use the link you received to log into your account. Here you'll need to input your user ID After you've entered your email address, you'll need to enter the password you set before. At the same time, you'll receive a PIN code in your inbox to create two-factor authentication, providing Rexall customers additional security on their accounts. After you click login, you'll be redirected to your account in the customer portal. Thanks for watching.